السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. إن شاء الله today we will complete the second video for the parts which are not included in the C G library. We will start with the pipe support. After creating a new part, we will create a new sketch. Find some dimensions regarding the pipe location. And offset from visible center line defines the uh, tube diameter. After that, we will start creating these uh, dimensions of uh, the uh, support, define the width, the tilted angle, define the offset from the visible center line, and complete the sketch. Now the sketch is closed. After that, we will make an extrude for this by six millimeter. Define the material and the color. Now we will make a mirror, a mirror for that to the bottom. After that, we will make a pattern to use those ribs for N5, N6, N10, and N11. Now we will create a work plane to define the allocation of this nozzle from the shell as a user defined constraints, which is UCS. Now we will define the x direction and the y direction. Okay, now we will make those uh, visible. Now we will uh, save this part. Okay, create any folder for other parts. Save it as nozzle uh, with elbow uh, support. Okay, now we can uh, add it to the file simply. So from here we will select the UCS of this item with the UCS of the shell. Okay, so let's select the UCS of the shell, start UCS. Now after clicking apply, now you can figure that the support assembled easily. Now we will start to create a new uh, sketch, a new part uh, for the bundle uh, retainer. So that's the uh, large diameter, which is meter. Uh, 0.1 and we will draw the uh, sketch for the uh, bundle retainer main plate define the inside radius and the offset from bottom okay now let's add the complete sketch for the retainer Okay, just we will make a fixation with the center line. Now we will make an offset, so we select a closed loop, define the thickness of this main plate, make a trend for the lines, add outside ribs from for the two sides, make some equal constraints, define the dimensions from here to there and from top to here. Make this line vertical, make tangent between circle and two lines, okay. Now this sketch is fine, let's click save. For that we will save it as uh, the uh, bundle retainer uh, frame or a 2D uh, sketch. Now we have this sketch, we will use it uh, as a reference sketch in the main part. So we will import it from driven part and select the required lines, define the sheet metal properties, the thickness, let's define the thickness, and uh, the unfold uh, rule, so let's make it half to be from the center of that, uh, define the width of this plate, and check the uh, offset to be the outside, click OK, now we will make a project for the uh, shell inside diameter and make a cut uh, intersect okay so let's make an intersect to cut the uh, other uh, which is not, the not required piece and now we will make a work plane with an offset with that value make a sketch here and let's define the uh, UCS direction X and Y. Okay, make this line as a work a construction line. Define X and Y and click make them invisible. 
and save it as a bundle retainer part one. Save this piece and make save as for it to uh, change the material and the color. Okay, now let's uh, save as as part two. Okay, to make the ribs. Okay, now we will uh, make this sketch visible. Let's uh, delete this uh, this uh, feature, which is uh, uh, this flange, and let's create a new sketch. Project the lines that we need for uh, that. Okay, after that we will make this sketch visible and complete the required by using the arc several time like that. Click finish and define the uh, selected area, define the direction and delete this feature which is extrude, save this part. Now let's make a new assembly for the uh, bundle retainer. Okay, now let's modify the uh, UCS. So the second part we will remove the ground option. So let's remove the ground option from here and assemble by using the UCS. Okay, now it's okay. Let's save it for uh, in a bar uh, in other uh, assemblies and save this assembly as upon the retainer assembly. Okay, let's go to the final assembly and import this assembly for bundle retainer. Okay, let's select the UCS with the UCS of the CAN3. Start UCS of CAN3. Okay, let's take a section now. Okay, let's make zoom. We need to move it a little bit, so let's change the location. One thousand eight hundred and fifty. Okay, let's come back to the final model now. The assembly is okay. Let's save the final assembly. Let's take another section. Now let's create a new part for the bundle sliding rail. Make a sketch for the uh, large diameter of the cone. Make an offset with the length of the eccentric cone. Create another circle for the small diameter of the eccentric cone. Now we will start creating a sketch for the bundle sliding rails. Make a line. Make it perpendicular and tangent to the circle make a project for the large circle make a cut define the width of this sliding rail define the angle 28 degrees okay now we will make extrude for this part and let's save it to our project. Make a mirror for the second piece. Now let's create the UCS. Define the center point as the uh, small diameter of the eccentric cone. Draw the axis for the X and Y. Now click finish and select the UCS defined X and Y. Make it all visible. Now let's save it. Change the material to steel and the color to steel. Let's save it. Now let's assembly it with the final assembly. With the start UCS of the eccentric cone. After that we will import Okay, select the UCS with the start UCS of the center cone. Now let's take a section. Okay, as you can see, the intersect between that, so we will make a loft with, uh, with cut. Create a new sketch at the end as extend for the 
slide it real come back and create another section to figure out now the slope of the uh, this piece is okay now let's create a new part which is the earth angle so from new part we will create a new sketch and sketch two circles to define the inside and outside diameter of the main part of the earth symbols create extrude define the material to be steel make a thread okay now let's save this as earth symbols part one and from the SCG library we will select the poles open the iLogic tab and from here open the uh, bolt data okay define the length material all of that and click save as everything goes part 2 click save now let's create a new simply and import those parts everything goes part 1 everything uh, post part 2 after that let's create a washer a new sketch Define the inside and outside circles, diameters. Make extrude with 3 millimeters for the motion. Change the material. Save this part as everything pose part 3. Okay, import this to the simply. Make a constraint. The same for pose. Click save. Now let's save the assembly of the Earthing bows, and after that, we will import it to the assembly of the saddle to make it appear on the drawing. Now, let's make a constraint by using the planes, define the offset from the bottom and offset from the outside. The same steps we will do it for the second saddle. Okay, let's open the other set and import the assembly of the earthing poles. We will do the same steps. 